kids, welcome back to my channel. It, today is 9.52 a.m. Where are I going to put, do an ice station math and reading for Miss Ogin and Miss Ortega. Ortega wants me to do reading, so nothing silly there. So we're gonna learn how to do reading first. Here's all my things. I have ice station right there. And we'll open the imagination station. All right, here's the intro. Here's the examples what the narrator is gonna say. Check your reading knowledge with tips along the way. Read a book and discover new adventures. Test your knowledge and practice your math skills. Explore a world of games and fun activities. Check out your assignments here. I don't have any assignments. After the, after the math, we're gonna do the oral reading fluently. First, we're gonna do read with I. Welcome back. Let's pick up where we left off. Before we read chapter we're one, we're going to read a book. Let's review what good readers do while reading. Good readers use strategies to help them understand what they are reading. The Rainforest Howlers. Let's review some of the strategies you have learned. Click on the letters to hear about them. Uh, I think the word is caps. Strategies of um, all of them. People need to clarify. Connect. Good readers clarify what they read. If they do not understand something, they stop to figure it out. If it is a word they do not know, they may use what they know about letters and sounds to figure it out. Or they may break the word apart to figure out its meaning. And if they are reading and do not understand something, they stop, go back, and reread. Good readers also make connections. They connect what they read with things they know from real life, from other texts they have read, or from their own ideas. Now, the letter A, as in... Ask questions. Good readers ask questions about what they are reading. They ask and answer who, what, where, when, why, and how questions to help them remember main ideas. P is for... Predict and picture it. Good readers predict what will happen next. When they get new information, they might change their predictions. Then they check to see if their predictions were correct. Good readers also picture what is happening or being explained in the text. They imagine that they are at the scene of the action. Or they imagine that the author is showing or telling them something in person. And finally... The letter S. That stands for the word... Summarize. Good readers summarize what they read. They identify main ideas and put them together. The summary helps them remember what they read. Well, I can see you guys are all ready. <laughs> Good readers use all of these strategies as they read. There are times when one strategy might be more useful to use than another. As you are reading, think about what strategies you are using to help you understand the text better. Now it's time to read The Rainforest Howlers. Chapter 1 is called Welcome to the Rainforest. Bye bye, we're with the mustache gray one. Do you need to clarify any words, phrases, or paragraphs before going on? Yes. If anything is unclear, reread the text. When you are done, click again to turn the page. Welcome to the rainforest. Alex's eyes winded as she peered out the window of the airplane. Mom, we're in, please, she said. I've seen the rainforest. <coughs> <coughs> the plane dipped to 
forward an asterisk. They were landing. <coughs> when Alex and her mother stepped off the plane, a young man greeted him. <coughs> I'm your guide, Juan Soto. <coughs> I'm Dr. Derpy. This is my daughter, Alex. <coughs> what will you study here at the purse with? Juan asked as he drove the two into the rainforest. Black howler monkeys, Alex said. Howlers are disappearing in some places, but not here, said Juan. They have been reproducing because hunting then isn't allowed. One troop lives near your campsite. <coughs> Juan parked the truck. He laid he led the way down a trail that it was covered with beetles, centipedes, and under invertebrates. Birds called black back and forth in the cool dark rain forest. Insects hover as over a stream. Suddenly Alex froze. Just ahead was a long snake as thick as her leg. It was looped around the tree branch. This snake is called a boa constrictor. Juan, whispered Juan. Boas usually stay away from people, but they can be dangerous around children. The three walked carefully around the branch. They arrived at the campsite. Juan gathered firewood while Dr. Derpy set up the tent. Alex unrolled the sleeping bags. <coughs> <coughs> Juan set up an emergency, emergency radio and showed Alex and her mom how to use it. I'll return in three days. If you have any problem, call the ranger station, Dr. Derpy thanked Juan as he drove away. Ouch, yelped Alex as a rip mango bounced off her head. <coughs> <coughs> she looked up. A monkey sat on the tree above her. It's not nice to throw fruit, scolded Alex. The monkey cocked his head. Alex laughed. I'll call you Mango. The monkey let out a howl. A black howler, said Alex's mom. His fur is changing from brown to black. <coughs> <coughs> Which means... He's a young male. She scanned the trees. But where's his mom? Howlers is Howlers is this young usually stay with their mother's backs. She wrote the over stations about Mango in her notebook. Alex toured the nearby river. Mango followed overhead, jumping from branch to branch. Alex spilled an iguana on a rock. Do you see the iguana? <coughs> <coughs> That's a reptile. It has scary skin, scaly skin, she said. Then she looked up at the mango. You're a mammal, my little friend. I can tell because you have fur. Mango dropped himself over a branch and fallen asleep. So now you devices in to be Alex's <coughs> sentinsely. Alex was curious and wanted to get closer a look at Mango. She scrambled up the tree and pulled herself on Mango's branch.
And then the noise wake him up. Ow! He cried. Our by Mango's howl, Dr. Derby came running. Alex, come right down right now. Alex reached the ground quickly. Don't worry, I'm a good climber. You've upset Mango, scolded Alex's mother. Howlers may be gentle, but they'll fight when they get scared. And remember, snakes, tiger cats, and iguanas live in these trees too. <coughs> Alex looked up. She couldn't see anything, but she saw her heard parental clicking, cawing, and rustling. She also remembered the boa that she saw earlier. Just before the next day, Alex awoke to a sound that is like a million squeaky, squeaky wheels. Her mother was already dressed and riding in his overstation notebook. Red-eyed tree frogs is giving Austin, their last. Some pancakes for you. Uh, I'll do it when I'm done reading with my recording. I'm doing it with my. With eye station. Yeah. Awesome. Just wait. Red-eyed tree frogs are giving their last calls before morning, said Dr. Derby. Alex hears clicking, cawing, and rustling in the trees above. These descriptive <laughs> details bring the story to life. Picture yourself hearing these sounds in the rainforest. I need to picture myself. Now... The next sound they heard was a crash. Ow, Alex looked outside. The tent. The tent. Mango knocked our pack off the table. He's opened it. <coughs> <coughs> Dr. Derpy looked puzzled. Howlers usually stay in the trees. What is he doing on the ground? Well, I left things for him on the table. Alex said with a guilty look. <coughs> uh, Mango pulled everything out of the pack. When he pulled off a hairbrush, he started petting the soft bristles. Mango hugged the brush as he had found in a new friend. Then Mango found a mirror. She saw his, his face on it. He, he looked scared and let up a deep, loud sound. Other monkeys answered the sound. The forest shook this rumbling howls. That's how howlers communicate shouted Alex's mom. They are talking to each other, warning Alex's, warning other troops, stay away! <coughs> hey, get that monkey out of there! <coughs> when howling stopped, Mango grew calm again alex offered a big fig and he took it and climbed onto her back oh mom can we keep him <coughs> <coughs> asked alex of course not said her mom this monkey is a wild animal not a pet Besides that, as the young mammal, they may still need his mother's milk, he explained. And he... <coughs> Bye. <coughs> and he's still got a lot to learn from his mother.
he's too young to know which leaves to eat. Alders eat young tender leaves. Yeah? What are you doing? I'm showing the kids how I read. Oh. You can read for me. I can? Yeah. We can answer the questions. Come on. I almost fell. Okay, we need to go to Walmart in a little bit. <coughs> In a clearing, they heard a rustling in a tree. Dr. Derpy looked at her binoculars. An adult black hower is trapped in a hunting net. <coughs> <coughs> but it's man maybe it's Mango's runner. But it's brown, said Alex. Female howlers are brown, explained her mother. Only adult males are black. We trapped mon monkey saw Mango. He hooted and yanked at the net. He destroys the upset the quiet forest. <coughs> Animals and insects scurried away. Birds squawked and took the flight. On the low branch of a tree, a merry tiger cat awoke. It spotted Mango. The cat fits its hungry eyes on its prey. Mother! The young mother in Alex, Alex's arms. Mango mother shrieked and trashed about the net. A tiger cat then turned its attention to the trapped mother howler. Alex and her mom looked at each other, but they both knew that Mango survival depended on them. Think about what has happened in the text so far. <laughs> what do you predict will happen in the next chapter? Which of these strategies did you use as you read the chapter, Welcome to the Rainforest? Click on the strategies you used most to understand the text. Then click on the arrow to go on. Oh, I know. It's to clarify. That story really left us and Mangle's mother hanging. <laughs> <laughs> Let's think about what we read and draw some conclusion. First, let's look at a conclusion Alex draws on her own. Look at these sentences from the story. You're a mammal, my little friend. I can tell because you have fur. Alex draws the conclusion that Mango is a mammal. Alex uses a clue and what she already knows about mammals to draw her conclusion. <laughs> Mango has fur. Alex already knows that mammals have fur. Alex puts the clues together with what she already knows and draws her conclusion. Am I a mammal, Mama? If Mango has fur and Humans mammals are have considered fur, mammals. then Mango must be Am a mammal. Am I considered mammal? Now let's look at some passages from the story and draw our own conclusions. A black howler, said Alex's mom. His fur is changing from brown Look, to black, which means he's story. a young male. She I'm scanned the trees. Honest. But where's his mother? Howlers this young usually stay on their mother's backs. The next sound they heard was a crash. Alex looked outside the tent. Mango knocked a pack off the <laughs> table. No he's opened it. Dr. Dupree looked puzzled. After the, Howlers after usually the, stay in the after trees. The book, okay, What's he doing on the ground? Well, I left figs for him on the table, you paying attention? Alex said yeah. with a guilty look. To draw a conclusion, we'll put clues from the text together with what we already know. Right. Click on the clues box to see the clues from this paragraph. Do I click on the clues box? Is that the clues box, kids? The mango is by himself. The figs caused Mango to come down from the trees. Next, 
Let's think about what Dr. Dupree already knows about young howler monkeys. Click on the <coughs> What I Already Know box. <coughs> young howlers usually stay in the trees with their mother. Now let's put the clues together with what we already know. First, Mango is in the trees by himself. The figs cause Mango to leave the trees and come to the ground. Dr. Dupree said that young howlers are usually in the trees with their mothers. So what conclusion can you draw about Mango? Click on the best conclusion and drag it to the conclusion box. Can you help me, Mama? Before the time runs out. What? Mango has food to find his mother? That doesn't make good sense. Is it Mango's hungry and spin 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 spread? Click on the best conclusion and drag it to the conclusion. Is box. it that one? Mango is by himself. The fig caused Mango to come down from the tree. Young howlers usually stay in the trees with their mothers. Mango is hungry and has been separated, but Mango has to find food for his mother. Is afraid of. Mango is hungry and has been separated from his mother. Is that what it is? No. I already said no. Oh. But I think it's Mango is afraid of Dr. Derpy, said Alex. Dupree. Okay. Okay. So do you think we'll choose it? Yeah. Click on the best conclusion and drag it to the conclusion box. No, this is the best conclusion. I told for the clues. you. To draw the best conclusion, I don't conclusion, think it's the right always answer. Always use the clues. Now read each clue and the information in what you know from the chart. Then click on the best conclusion and drag it to the conclusion box. Yes, that's the best conclusion. Well done. Uh, yeah. Based on your good work, I Look, can draw this the word has a mustache. that you are ready to answer some questions about the rainforest howlers. Read the question and read each answer by yourself. Then click on the button next to the correct answer. I think I want to stop for now. Why? Okay, guys. Bye-bye. Subscribe to my channel.